Children from Port Elizabeth in the Eastern Cape province are set to reach for their dreams of becoming professionals in the hospitality industry. Their school, Kwamagbaki High, is a beneficiary of half a million rand state-of-the-art kitchen equipment to help them with their tourism studies. This is thanks to a private uh, public partnership with the provincial government. And it follows a call by the provincial premier, Pumulo Maswale, to private companies to help improve the standard of education in the province. Wamataki High School is one of 28 schools in the metro that specializes on consumer subjects, but they have been battling with lack of resources. The school has recorded 56% pass rate last year, but their road to excel in the tourism sector has now been paved with this state-of-the-art equipment. A person now will have a bigger picture about what he, he or she is doing in class and also it will make a person to have interest about her or, her or his own studies. This school has 119 matriculants this year. Majority of them wants to get into the hospitality industry. The Sun International has committed to assist them with resources to achieve their dreams. This initiative which relates to consumer studies seeks to provide a pipeline and a, and a stepping uh, or a stepping platform for youth all the way through from a formative education place right through to the phase where we support with bursaries and then hopefully ultimately we'll see these learners in our workplace. The Eastern Cape boasts with 187 schools specializing in consumer studies. We are taking these programs uh, to all the corners of the province, including the northern areas. So I'm saying depending also on what the school is offering in its curriculum, we will go to the different schools with uh, the different partnerships and assist. Because the issue is about protecting the right of Elena to get genuine education. Teachers have also been encouraged to start Saturday classes and utilize these state-of-the-art resources. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.